Welcome to Ron's Workbench. Hi everybody, welcome back to Ron's Workbench. I'm your host, Ron Piskel. In this week's episode, we're gonna continue on with building the Valley Hardware and Plumbing Supply by Motrack Models. We're gonna put the walls aside for right now and we're gonna work on the sub base. And when we're done with that, we're gonna start on the windows, get those all painted up, and we'll continue on from there. Before we get started though, I just wanna thank each and every one of you that has been supporting Ron's workbench. It means a lot to me, and thank you for watching. So let's get on with our building. Okay, so now that we have the basics of the walls painted, we're going to start on the sub base. Sub base uh, comes with partial tab and slot construction. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to free the tabbed pieces from the wood sprue and we'll get those fixed to the subfloor. So I'm just taking a knife and I'm tracing along where all the laser cuts were to free the pieces from the sprue. Okay, so now that I have those three pieces removed from the sprue, we're going to refer to the directions. And we're going to look at the photos in the directions. Because as I pointed out last week, the drawings for the sub base are upside down. So we're going to orient the three tab pieces by looking at the picture. So as we're looking at the photo, we see that wall number three is going to go on the side that has the uh, tabs. And that will be one of the loading dock areas. So we're going to make sure that we correctly orient the sub base and we'll test fit the pieces and we'll do any cleanup that we need to do, and then we'll glue them in place. So right now, um, what I'm doing is I'm doing a dry fit of the pieces just to see how they fit and see if there's any file or cleanup work that I need to do. And once I have this piece in, everything looks good. Now, the other three pieces that are not tab and uh, slot, we're going to work, as you're seeing, we're going to work around the clock face. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue up the tab side. And then once those three pieces are in, if we keep the board oriented the way I have it, as you see it, we're going to then work from the one o'clock position and work around the clock face with those other three pieces. Now, it's important that you work in that direction because the three non-tabbed uh, pieces are going to overlap slightly in the corners. And once all three of those pieces are in, it, the sub base will be complete and seamless around the edge. 
Okay, so you can see I have the first piece of the base in. Now I'm going to work counterclockwise with the tab and slot pieces. And then with the non-tab and slot pieces, we are going to work clockwise. So get this in. Make sure it's nice and tight and everything fits good. Okay, so now that I have those two pieces in, we're going to take my 1x2x3 blocks and we're just going to square those walls up. Okay, now that those two pieces are nice and square, uh, the third piece will just uh, slip in to its position nice and tight all on its own and it should line itself up properly. Okay, so there you have it. A little bit of glue and it just pops right into place and very little fussing needed right now to make it straight. And that's the beauty of the uh, tab and slot construction. Now we'll just set the blocks there and we'll let that dry up. Okay, so here is the completed sub base. Got all the sides. Three of the sides were tab and slot, and the other three sides were just glued in. Used my one by two by three blocks to brace it and square it up, and that came out all good. Now the next thing we're going to tackle is <clears throat> the corner pieces which go on the, sorry, long sides of the build. Okay, so, these are numbered correspondingly to three and five, which these are. Let's get the sub base out of the way. So these are pieces three and five. And hopefully you can see here, let's get ourselves a little pointer. Here are the side. corner trim okay so you got three and then 12 is this is the side for the uh, cupola up at the top so we're gonna go ahead and thinking I should maybe I don't know if I'll attach those first and then paint them or if we'll paint them on here uh, and we'll go from there so you can see they're already pre-cut to the lengths for each one. And then one more thing I'm also going to do is, you can see I'm a little uneven on the amount of paint that I have on each side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little more white paint to this side as well. And then let's go into our bag of tricks here. Pull out our windows, and another thing we need to do is to figure out what color are we going to paint the windows. Now I want to spray these. These are nice and thin, so I'm thinking what I might do is 
have like a sand dollar color and I have a tan and I also think I have a red as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll take all the doors and our windows out. We'll go through these. We'll wash them up. I'll take them outside and I'll spray them. dry up and once we're done with that we'll go ahead and get those interim pieces painted up after that's all done so once I have the windows the end pieces and go over and put a little bit more white on this side just in this area here i think and what we'll do is once i get that on we'll go over it with the sandpaper and i'll take the file cart to it and i'll give it a couple wipes over it and to blend it in and we'll go from there okay so see you back after these are all painted Okay, so you can see here, I decided to paint the end trim pieces first. So I painted them on the wood sprue. And uh, I also added a little bit more white in that one section on wall number three. Uh, I blended it in, so that's all taken care of. So let's take a look at the windows. I painted the windows with the sand uh, color and I think they're gonna work out just right. Um, staying within that beige and brown color scheme with the white. So that's all done. So let's uh, trim up a couple of the windows and the doors and we'll see how it looks. So we're just uh, taking a couple of the windows and the, one of the doors and we're going to take it off the sprues and just do a test fit and get the door in here and we'll put one of the larger windows in and take a look and let's get one of the small windows that goes on that lower side and we'll trim that off the sprue and we'll look and see how everything works together. Okay, so we'll just pop this window in, take a look. I think the color scheme works out pretty well. All right, now that that's done, we'll move on to the trim pieces. So uh, reading the instructions, before you can begin assembly, they want you to attach the trim pieces to walls three and five. So they're already painted. So we'll go ahead and we'll start working on that. We'll take uh, the first long piece off of the wood sprue. We'll sand it up and we'll get that attached. OK, 
Okay, so to take that first uh, interim piece off, we'll just take our knife and we're going to trace along the laser cuts to free it from the sprue. That way we don't damage it by just trying to push it off and risk cracking or breaking the wood into pieces. Okay. Now, once I have it free from the sprue, we'll take it and we're going to use a file and I'll file um, the two sides that I'm going to be using the glue and knock that out. And like I said, I'm going to take, a, uh, take that, run it over the file a little bit and we'll do a test fit, make sure it works. And then once we have it fit properly where there's no gaps, we'll go ahead and we'll glue it in. Okay, so I filed it a few times. I filed the wall section and I filed the trim piece a little bit to ensure a nice clean edge. And now we'll use the level of the cutting mat to make sure we get a good square edge and get that uh, in place. And we'll take a look at it and make sure it's where I want it. And now I'll we'll use the one by two by three blocks to square everything up and we'll let that set up. Okay, so now that that's uh, all set up, we'll go ahead and we'll put the next piece in on the bottom. And I'm gonna use my ruler here because these two pieces are very close in size on the sprue. So I'm gonna take the correct one and let's figure out which one that is. I believe it measured out at 33 millimeters. So we'll free this one up from the sprue and we'll just do what we did with the other one. We'll sand it up make sure everything's square we'll sand up the wall itself and we'll attach it okay so now that I've got it all squared up, I'm gluing it on and I'm making sure that when you view it from the front side that you don't see a gap in between the clapboard siding and where the trim piece is. And once I have that in place, I'll go ahead and use the one by two by three block to make it nice and square. And again, we'll just let that set up and we'll continue on with the other two pieces. Okay, so just making a couple little adjustments, making sure it's even and we'll take a look at it and see what we think. Again, just making sure it's square. Okay, so welcome to Groundhog's Day. 
just continuing on doing the same thing. Take the trim pieces off the sprue. We'll file them up. Make sure they're nice and square. And we'll attach them. Now, I will say the two upper pieces are cut slightly longer so that you can fit them in to match up with the roof line. Now, I've got the smaller of the two upper sections, gluing it in. Again, just making slight adjustments because I, I want to make sure that the trim pieces are nice and tight to the clapboard siding. And now that this piece is in, we'll go ahead and we'll cut the next piece. Okay, so we'll just trim this up so that if it's nice and put a little bit of an angle on this so that'll match up nicely with the roof line and same thing over again. We'll sand it up, attach it, make sure it's good and tight and we'll move on. Now, as I place the last piece of trim on the wall, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like what you're seeing here on Ron's Workbench, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to be reminded the next time I post a video. Please share this video with your friends and family on other social media outlets. Thumbs up are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below this video. And thank you once again for watching, and I pray that each and every one of you has a blessed and healthy and happy week. See you next week. On the next episode of Ron's Workbench, we'll get the windows in and start getting the walls put up. On the next Ron's Workbench.